above the, the mess that is the red flag here at Watkins Glen. The coverage brought to you by our friends at Goodyear, the official tire of NASCAR, helping NASCAR drivers get to the finish line for over 50 years. Well, there are nine drivers involved in this one, and many of these guys will not get to the finish line today. The 70 car, Max Pappas, hard contact against the guardrail. Let's listen in to his radio. You could hear the disappointment. Max Pampas is one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to be around. He was so excited to be here yesterday in Rusty's car and to be here in the 70 car today and to be a part of this and uh, such disappointment. Yeah, it really is. You hate it for somebody that just wants to do this so bad, Max. He just loves coming here and driving these cars and wants to be a part of either one of these series. Here he is coming out of the car. He could just, you could just hear the heartbreak in his voice. And just, what a great guy. Tough day. Unfortunately, it doesn't always turn out like we want to. And and uh, but he, as you said, he's a great guy, great family guy. Here are the cars involved. The original contact was Michael McDowell in the 38 of David Gillen. Gillen rebounds off and catches Bobby Labonte front and back. Uh, Dave Blaney heavy front end damage. Reed Sorensen couldn't get stopped, got front end damage. Michael Waltrip also some fender. Max Pampas you saw against the guardrail. Sam Hornish Jr. sideways into the barrels and Joe Nemechek uh, front end of his car damage trying to get stopped. Let's check out today's uh, sprint monster moment. A monster hit by David Gilliland. The ricochet off to Bobby the Bonnie who got it fronted by. Look at Sam Hornish. That's why they put those barrels there. These guys are all wide open coming out of this last corner. They're trying to make passes. We're down inside of 10 laps to go. And just the worst po possible spot for everything to happen right here. Going over the majority of the field. For more monster moments, check out NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile. Eight laps to go here at Watkins Glen. A nine car crash has brought out a red flag. The drivers are all out of the cars, and it will take a while to clean up this mess. Back in a moment.